That's the problem right there. Women have never accepted the fact that we understand y'all better. Why do you think it's a man's world? I don't know about you understand no, us it's, better. It's okay. No, no, no. no, listen, no. Listen, I listen, mean, listen. I was with I, you no, no, to listen, this point. And listen, go listen on. what I'm trying to tell you. Look, I'm being typical woman now, aren't I? Do you believe that you understand men? I feel like I have quite a good understanding of men. You. Now, yeah. do you believe that your girlfriend's understanding men the way you understand them? I mean, from what I see, no, not necessarily. Exactly. So there's a small percentage of women that understands the concept of nature and men and how it goes together. So do you, do you, do you agree with, like, Nick Cannon and his spreading of his seeds? 100%. Oh, I agree no. with him 1,000%. Oh, no. That's how life is supposed to be. No, no, no. Why not? Because he's he... rich. No, but this he's... is... No, See, wait, oh, wait, wait, oh, wait, 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 wait. Let me finish. Okay, go he's on. He's rich. He's responsible. Is he? Yes, he no. takes care of every one of okay, those children. But, no, but this is the point. And the baby mother's with it. And no. they hurt for nothing and they live comfortably. You no, know, but what about the kids though? What about them? Because this is what I mean about men, right? You guys think that just having kids and giving money is enough. But what no. about the time? No. He's there for every How one of them. How? There's no way that you can Are be- you serious, Are you serious, Nick? Is it's there for every single one of those kids. There's no way that you could have Yes, it is. I got nine, and I'm there for every one of mine. So every single time you're at every single recital. No, that's a white man's thing. Who gives oh, a fuck about a recital? No. My what? job. Oh no, seriously. My job is to tr listen. My job is to raise my kids. No, but this is. Hold on. Go to be on. Responsible. Yeah. To be understanding. To protect their mother. To you know. To um. To to give hand with their father and assist with family planning and to be responsible adults. Okay, but what My about job quality time? doing all that extra stuff that all but these holidays about... and recitals Nobody and all that. Is, now though. guess what? While I'm taking care of my responsibility to make sure the family has a roof over their head and food, if I have the time to do that and show love, yes, I will do that. But my responsibility is to make sure that they grow up responsible, strong, and become a real, you know, uh, uh, input to society. Yeah, but you're not, then, if you're not around them enough to give them that's emotion. That's false. That's, no, that's not true. Because communication allows me to be there every day. That's yes. what a FaceTime phone is for. No, but that's not the same it as if you had. Same. No, Akon. Oh, no, wait, no. Wait, let me okay. finish. Let no, me finish. Quick, let me finish. Let me I'm going to cut you off real quick because this is very important. It's very, no, but. No, no, no. It's okay, very, go on. It's very important. Okay. The reason why people like me can't spend every single day and minute with their children is because the mother's job is to be there with the children. I'm the man. My job is to provide comfort so the mother can provide and raise those children to be like me. Now, if it's a man, when a child gets to a certain age, as a man, that's my responsibility now to show him what a, what a man's role and responsibility is. But you can't expect a man to conquer the world if he's home with children. Okay, but if you had two children, then maybe the two children can come with you all over the world. Well, why would you want to take children all over the world with a man? Oh, that's so that's so <laughs> womanistic and woman. That, who? What man do you know is gonna ride around here with their children? Like that don't. You know how weak that looks for them. No, that's not. That's not even, like, who mean, does that? Like, listen. No, so no, you no. mean to tell me no, as no, a wait. woman you're gonna just pass your responsibility to me? No, take no. the kids to work. No, no, no. What I'm saying is, okay, I'm listening. Is that fair enough? You're saying multiple wives and all these things, great, right? And you've got ha your kids. But I'm saying that there has to be a level of actual presence that you are there in your child's life. And I'm not talking about you, I'm talking about in general now, but okay? most men with multiple wives no, are there. No, but if you have 12 kids, right. there's no way that you are able to give your 12 kids the same amount of ten attention. Can I tell you something? Wait a minute. I know parents with two kids and they don't give them the same amount well, of attention. that's fine. That's cool. But every I'm child just... attention gives, no listen, every child you give them the attention that's needed for them. Not every child is going to be on the same mental capacity either. Some kids need more attention than others. Some a lot more understanding. Some catch up a lot quicker. But most of the time it's all about communication. Listen, in life there's roles. Yeah, no. A man has his role. Yes. And a woman has her role. Yes. But the day the woman believes that the man is supposed to share her role with her, then that means she's lacking. So you're saying that the woman should just is the only person that needs to be raising the child within the house. That's her responsibility. Yes. I don't go pull my wife out to the construction site to go pull nails and two by fours. Because well, yeah, that's not her place. No, but we're talking about two different things. No, here. it's the same thing. No. Just because you as a woman believe that that job is simpler in the house, because that's 
easier no, and more comfortable I'm talking for about you. For a man, it's a lot harder. A guy ain't got time to be in the house all day with no kids. No, but no, no one's saying that, to be in the house all day with the kids. I'm saying that if you have 12 children, right. you cannot divide your attention equally amongst those children. One of your, ch a couple of your children are gonna feel like you are not there for them. I don't care but what, I, I- still I, Western, listen. Before, let's just, okay, let's prime this up. We're going back to nature again. Yeah. Before there was civilization and we were just cavemen, right? right? Before the responsibilities and the holidays and the piano recitals and the ballet recitals, before any of that existed, a man would do what's naturally comfortable to keep the earth preserved. Mm -hmm. And that's to populate the earth. He's going to mate, and he's going to mate, and he's going to mate. He may go from one side of the equator all the way to the other side of the equator. There was no child support. There was no man's responsibility towards his children. It was just about life being created. Then structure slowly evolved into nature. But when nature was being revolved with structure, the structure was being created without putting nature or even involving nature in the structure. So then you have all these rules that don't even physically, mentally even work. And then this would create so many problems because women grow up with these outlier thoughts of a man is supposed to do this and a good man is supposed to do this. And you create these responsibilities that don't even come naturally for a man. So a man has to struggle to create happiness in a home with rules that he don't even confide with naturally. So it creates a problem. So what happens is the day women stop and realize what a man is from a nature it's Bryce Davis on the check-in and I actually 100% agree with Akon you know uh, I personally have half custody of my child which means I have my child four days out the week which is about 60% a little more than the mother and I personally feel like when it comes to my child's upbringing the greatest and best thing that I could personally do is to be at work handling business doing the best I could to provide a stable situation for my child but since there's a lot of issues surrounding my child, you know, involving the other party, I'm un unable to do that because I was forced in a situation where I had to get custody of her. But had I not had custody of her and the mother just took care of her, I could provide a much better situation for my daughter. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I believe that for the most part, that's how gender roles should be. Even if the two ain't together, I do believe in a nuclear family. But at the same time, I do believe women should be the primary caregiver of children. And the man should be out, you know, doing his thing to provide the best situation for him, of course. Uh, but I do think um, boys are best raised by men once they reach a certain age. You know, by the time they hit their mid-tweens, like puberty or something, I do think the father should get them. But, they, you know, that's just my personal opinion. I'm actually surprised that, you know, how knowledgeable Akon is on the subject because, you know, this is stuff I've been saying, you know, I've been felt, you know. But, you know, nowadays society is so different. I only got one child, but if it was up to me, I would have multiple. But, you know, in the U.S., the system is designed against men so different that, you know, you got to be more careful about who you reproduce with because you got things like uh, child support, uh, visitation issues, things like that. So, you know, it wouldn't be conduct, you know, productive for me to do that. And on top of that, you know, Nick Cannon and Akon, these ain't your typical people. These are multimillionaires. You know what I mean? Like you got a lot of these women getting pregnant by Pookie, Ray Ray and Tyrone. And, you know, they can't even keep a job, but they got like four or five kids. And you ain't heard a single baby mom of Nick Cannon's coming out and says he don't do enough for his kid or he ain't supporting his kids. You don't never hear that. But, you know, they'll get uh, pregnant by Pookie in a heartbeat. But, you know, have a quick, you know, quick to say something about Nick Cannon. You know what I'm saying? Because the day situation being fucked up and assuming that, you know, uh, at Nick's or Akon shit's the same way. And it's like, nah, they're providing them with the best clothing the best schooling opportunity private school everything they could possibly need and be maybe facetiming them every week maybe only seeing them in person once or twice a month whatever the case may be but you know that's better than you know a lot of people growing up poor that only get to see their dad every other month or whatever the case may be but you know they're quick to say something about you know multi-millionaires having multiple kids but you know make their own poor life decisions
But anyway, uh, I'm going to keep some of the video playing because I think this is a real good topic. And of course, if you like the video, make sure you like and subscribe. From your standpoint, I guarantee you, a lot of problems that we're dealing with, it won't even, it, it won't even exist because the responsibility from the woman will be accepted. The same way the man accepts his responsibility, but he got to the point where mating is a responsibility for a man, but he's embarrassed to mate because women feel like he's cheating. Well, well exactly. if, no, no, well, if he's in a relationship and he's in a relationship, he's... what is that? Oh like, my God, no way. No, yeah. it, the Wait, so how do we get here? It goes back Did to... Did you say, you said on, relationship, what is on. that? It goes back. But then you've got, how, but if Okay, you're... okay, tell, prime example. No, just hear me out, hear me out. Okay. Let's say relationship. Right. And then you got marriage. Okay. What's the difference today? between a relationship and marriage yes a boyfriend and a girlfriend there's just the just just the what's the difference a paper a basically paper. yeah now is that logical is that even right is that even real you mean tell me a piece of paper is the only difference between marriage under god and a boyfriend and a girlfriend but the boyfriend and girlfriend is still a relationship but what's the difference now? No, I'm just, but I'm saying relationships as a whole, whatever you, whether you're married, boyfriend or girlfriend, a relationship, there's still a relationship there, no? But you still it, believe in a relationship. But what's the difference? The paper. There's a reason why marriage is supposedly taken a lot more serious than a relationship. 